Hi Libra, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is going to be your July reading, your bi-weekly reading from the 11th to the 25th of July. I'm going to draw six cards initially. Your first three cards are going to relate to this week, the 11th to the 18th. And the second three cards are going to relate to the second week, which is the 19th to the 25th of July. Okay, so... um. I've shuffled your, card, your cards, Libra, and again, they're, they're, they're quite energetic, your cards. Um, we know that you've had a bit of a, it's been a, it's been a hard, it's been a difficult year, you know, this last few months. So we're going to, but the energy is shifting and changing. Please read the description box below. That just gives you an idea of, you know, the astrological influences and how they may be affecting you guys, um, well, us all, to be honest over the, the course of this next um month okay so let's have a look then libra i've as i said i've already shuffled the cards already started shuffling them and again was drawn to the <laughs> so if you've not watched your love reading watch that you do like a love reading but as i was again drawn to this crystal um it's for you so i just you know i'm just really hoping though that the energy is shifting for you your cards are now ready so let's have a let's start going okay so we start off with the the five of and this is a general reading um a general value clear reading we start off with the five of swords then we go to the two of cups oh then this one wants to fall out and that's a queen of swords then for next week sorry i'll do it this way because I, I don't like to get distracted by the energies that's why i keep them face down these are for the following week okay from the 19th to the, to the, to the excuse me to the 25th and um let's start shall we okay so you know this week this is your first card that you've got okay you've got the five of swords now libra let's not be hating on this card let's not be hating on the five of swords you know fives are about the challenges fives are challenges and fives are changes and this one's about it's about you this card you know someone really did a number on you someone really did a number on you libra some it could have been another earth sign this this is this is your energy um air energy gemini libra aquarius but someone really did a number on you and it's someone from the past again we're looking back we're looking over our shoulders but it's as if someone has been an absolute <laughs> i'm gonna try not to swear in these videos but someone's not been very good to you and i think that you kind of were thinking that what they said about you um these are the people at work or this is the person like your past relationships whatever it's like what they said to you for a long time you held that you know you sort of believed that and it's about overcoming those negative beliefs about yourself those negative beliefs caused by the relationships or the input of other people maybe at work it's like some of you got a bad reference for example um or what do you call references do they call them references in america oh i don't know you know what i mean you know when you get a new job etc you, you i don't know you know what they call them what i'm saying americans <laughs> but um it's as if some of you got like is it a resume anyway i'm gonna stop trying to remember that name of that word but it's like some of you got a bad like you know review or whatever and it's like you believed you believed what those people said about you and it's like you almost became that person. Like, people have been so unfair to you. you. You have really had a hard time, Libra. You know, the energy around you has been so... You've had a hard time. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You know, let's have some good stuff coming for you, Libra. Let's have some good stuff. I mean, look at this. We've got the four of... We've got the four of wands. So we're moving away from this energy. We move, Excuse me. That's... Yeah, it's a four of wands. It's like we're moving away from this energy. It's like... Maybe this was a relationship or or um you know the the paranoia not paranoia um but the challenge was caused by a previous relationship for example or a, a place that should have been secure whether it, it was work or whether it was a family member you know you, you should have felt secure and and and, and, it, and you didn't you know someone i don't want to say betrayed you but someone's opinion really had had a negative impact on your self-esteem it really affected how you feel about yourself and i'm hoping that's going to change you know we've got the two of cups next okay you know so the two of cups libra is a commitment card more than anything it's a commitment it's a commitment to something that brings us joy and this could be you making a commitment to change the 
negative mindset that you had of yourself, you know, to change the the um, opinions that you've been carrying around about yourself for because of other people that's like this could this is could be what this means you know it's like a commitment to your to being compassionate to yourself and a commitment to, to be to feeling good about yourself okay um i don't really i don't really feel like i need to draw a card to clarify the two of cups because so why am i shuffling you what you ask excellent okay we've got this um I, I wasn't i didn't feel like it but the universe is telling me so we've got the full so it's about a new beginning and, it, and it's like you know what's her name, Mel, on your angelic karma? She um, says that when she sees the full card, the devil's been lurking. And I agree with her. It's like you've come into the light with the with the full card. And it's as if you're having a brand new beginning, a clean slate, with, without those negative... Um, thoughts about yourself encroaching about the without the negative opinions of others getting in the way of you feeling good about yourself you want to move forward now and the energy is about moving forward and you want to be clear minded and compassionate to yourself and you, you you really wanting to make a commitment to that this week i know i know libra that you can feel the shift in energy that's happened and it might have been in circumstances you might be actually seeing in your life this week i mean today it's tuesday these will be posted on Wednesday on the 11th, but you, it's as if you can see in your life, you can look around yourself now and say, things are changing, things are moving on. And you are, and you'll be right in that. Okay, we then have the, the Queen of Swords. I mean, this is a, this is really what we're talking about. Is this compassion having, having, speaking clearly, you know, speaking, there's something else that just came through then, but I'll come back to that in a second. Speaking clearly, thinking clearly, um, being open to listen to other people, being open to accept the treatment, how you've been treating yourself, the things that you've been saying to yourself, you know, how you've been managing your um, mental health or negative self-talk um, or your self-esteem. This is about having more compassion for yourself. It's And again, it's about making that commitment to yourself and moving away from that energy. Now, the thing is, though, the, the really hard thing is for some of you, this, this five of... Um, sword energy this as i said this conflict this not direct conflict but it's a challenge brought about by the involvement of, of other people and it's one that you must overcome it's a change that you must overcome yourself and it's as if that this has been brought about by a situation that should have been stable you know whether that's a you know in work whether it's people's opinions of you in work or whether it's you know your wife or your husband or your mum or your dad or your brothers or your sisters it's people or something a situation where you should feel secure and safe about expressing yourself and being yourself and yet you've had to look over your shoulder for some of you this goes way back though remember we are in retrograde season so this is a time when, when we're in retrograde that we are thinking back anyway so some of us could be thinking way back you know and this could be you know parent stuff issues you know when, when you were growing up when you were five years old for example and it's that that sort of damaged your self-esteem that treatment so so have a look at that have a look at that you will know um but you know this month is about you or these next couple of weeks is about you making a commitment to have a fresh start to move on and to be more compassionate with yourself and to be more compassionate about the things that you tell yourself in your mind now something else came through when i picked this card up as well and that was boss so some of you could have a could be a, a female boss or could have a female boss and you know if that's the case it i'm not feeling good vibes around that person um, if if this is related to a boss for you, you know, a female, um, you know, a female boss, you know, if you, you understand the meaning of those two words. So, you know, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you've got a female boss, then it's, I don't like this energy, man. You know, this is what comes out, ten of swords. So there's, there's, a, there's might be a lot of stress caused by your boss this week. She, she's got, oh God. do you know what? If you have got a female boss and she's stressing you out this week about work, tell her to subscribe to Key Wisdom Tarot and to watch your video, Libra, because I can tell you now, this woman, lady, she has got some stuff going on way deep below the surface. And that is why she's cracking the whip, as we would say in England. I don't know what they'd say in, um, that's what, I don't know what they'd say. Working you hard, I don't know. <laughs> this i don't know american colloquialisms but you know um <laughs> i'm laughing about anyway I, I told you i was on holiday in ibiza that's why my videos are late and i was i was with them um, two of the girls from um 
Atlanta Records, and um, one of them used to work for the Kardashians. Anyway, um, she's going to hate me for saying that. She'll be watching this video at some point. Anyway. Um, so, you know, your boss has really got stuff going on below, beneath the surface. It, it could be, a, it could be a, a male boss. It doesn't have to be a female boss, but some of you could be working very hard this week to please your to please your boss to please your wife to please your husband but i suppose it doesn't matter queen of swords male or female but there's a lot going on beneath the surface there could have been a bereavement that your boss isn't sharing with you there could have been some, there's something at home it could have been the ending of a marriage so your boss or the person that, that you work with or work for may be ending their relationship and that's putting a strain on your workload which is such a specific thing to say but that's definitely happened i can see the the turmoil in your boss's life for some of you if you're the boss and you work for yourself then you know you know that you know what i'm saying you know you really need to to it's about this having this compassion for yourself making a commitment to have more compassion for yourself and to give yourself an, a, you know to, to have a, a clean slate and a fresh start on how you think about yourself okay that's what we, this week is really about yeah you might need to go back to the past and think about the things that have damaged you or think about the things that have challenged you but do that work because we, you know, by the end of July, we should be moving out of this energy. Okay. This is the, um, wow. Fab. I'm so happy to see these. And look at the amount of cups that we've got. We've got temperance card, which has got two cups on it. We've got the page of cups, which has got a cup in it. And we've got the nine of cups, which is cups. And we've got two of cups. So some of you could be dealing with a, excuse me, a water sign. Um, or, the, or you could have water in your chart, Cancer Pisces excuse me, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, um, but the energy next week really calms down, so from the 19th to the, to the 25th, it, it settles down a little bit, um, which is really nice, uh, it, it feels like it's quite an intense week for you, Libra, so you might not even get to watch this until next week or until the weekend because you're so busy, um, it's quite an intense week at work this week, it's quite, it's quite, um, you're busy, there's a lot going on, you don't have a minute, your head is full of stuff that you need to go through and deal with, you are one thing to the next thing to the next thing, that's this week, that's the 11th to the 18th or whatever, 17th, you know, next week it, it calms down a little bit, it settles down a bit, okay, this is temperance, this is temperance at work, this is what temperance is like, it's like, you know, sometimes you're, you're moving really, really fast towards something and then you're, you're sort of taking a, a step back and you're sort of looking at your commitments and you're looking at oh what just happened last week you know how you know how has that affected me and that's what this is about and and then you come up with this cup now the thing is about um you know temperance is very healing energy i love temperance now i used to really get frustrated with this card because when we experience this energy it is a it, it can feel frustrating to us it feels like things aren't going our way or things aren't just happening quickly enough or smoothly enough it's as if you feel like oh my gosh like at every t uh, you know oh yeah i'll get one thing done and then you know my computer will break down or I'll, then i'll get the computer fixed and then you know my tv goes on the blink or whatever it's as if like you make progress in some areas and then in other areas we're, we're sort of stopped so it can feel very frustrating the temperance energy but whenever i see it you just know babe you just know libra that this is a healing card so whatever situations you're experiencing with in this between the 11th and the 25th or for your highest good and i can guarantee you that this card followed me this energy followed me around for about three weeks but not three weeks three months i mean every time i picked up my tarot card temperance would be coming out and i'd be like listen universe don't test me at all but <laughs> but now when i'm sitting here you know, I'm like, yeah, I get it, universe. I understand, like, why I was, like, going through that. So, you know, don't ever... just Oh, gosh, I'm running out of time. So don't ever worry too much about the temperance energy when she, when she arrives, okay? You know, this, the page of cups is, you know, uh, the next card that comes out for you. So this is next week, as I said. So there could be a, a message. Pages are helpers. It's something that help us that comes into our lives. Something that's going to help us is going to come into our lives. And it could be... Um, something that it could be a person, it could be a water sign that's going to help you, that's going to offer you something. Um, and the thing that they offer you could be your wish fulfillment, okay? Because remember, we've got this nine of cups here. This could be something that you've waited for. In fact, it is something that you've waited for. We have got the temperance energy there. You know, some of you wanting to move this card, excuse me, has been on the bottom every single time I picked up the deck. So I, I for some of you, you know, I relate this to Pisces. 
even though obviously it's it's pentacle energy i relate it to pisces and it's about the emotion involved with indecision okay with this two of pentacles so for some of you um we're still weighing things up we're still you know going thinking about what our options are we're still um moving a bit slower toward them i just want to have a look at this page of cups though um you know pages as i said they're, they're all about messages that messages of help you know they're all about things that can assist us things that can benefit us things that can come into our lives that that that, that give us a boost or that give us something positive to hold on to yeah um and it's funny how the page of, I want to know what this is. It's an opportunity. I mean, we've got a knight of pentacles. So, you know, some of you could have been working towards something for a long time. You know, knights, again, they go toward the battle. They go toward victory and they bring things in. So, you know, it could be that we've been waiting, some of you, for a love offer, for an apology. It could have been a long time coming for a job offer. It could have been a long time coming. Um, it's not about uh, clarity. It's not about emotional clarity or mental clarity. This is something... This is what's coming in next week is coming in. It's a real thing that you can see and that you can manifest. And for some of you, as I said, it's your wish fulfillment. OK, let me just quickly, because I'm running out of time and I'm trying to keep my videos to 40 minutes. Otherwise, it just takes me way too long to upload them. Um, time is to sleep under the table, bless him. Um, I'm just going to quickly clarify for you the nine, this one, the nine of pentacles. So uh, nine of pentacles, nine of cups. So we get the five of wands. So fives are about change you know as i've said before with the five of swords it's interesting i'm going to make a video about the energies of the fives and how to move through that energy this is a card again about other people's interference in your lives uh, in your life and that may have been, has been the thing that has been stopping you from moving toward the things that you want but next week we have movement we have help as well we have people coming in that can potentially help you to get your wish fulfillment whatever that is you know this has been this has been put on hold it's been put on hold for you and it could be in relationships it could be that you've wanted to be in a relationship and the treatment of the last people have hurt you blah blah but i don't want to talk about loving this reading because i'm trying to keep it general and when i do your additional love reading um, next week then maybe we'll look at we'll look a bit more closely at that but, you know, you've been held back and you've been holding yourself back from your wish fulfillment. And, and next week, and, and it's because, excuse me, it's because of this. It's inner conflict, this. It's minor conflict, it's inner conflict. But it's, again, it's brought about by other people's flipping messy mouths, other people talking rubbish about you or, you know, and it's like, you don't deserve it, Libra. And I, I really hope that you can feel, you really need to do some meditation, please. You need to do, start doing some meditations, Libra, on your sacral chakra, your second chakra your self-esteem and also opening up that heart chakra showing that compassion towards yourself because some of you have had the worst yeah you've had the worst treatment and it really has had a, a huge impact on on your confidence and on your uh, on your thinking that you can move forward well you can move forward and you should move forward okay this is what I'm, we're wanting for you so let's hope then that by, by the 25th of, of june by the end of this month we're moving out of the and this hard work, this slog, this energy, um, are, and we're moving forward with a fresh mind and with better self-esteem, okay? There's things coming in to help you, Libra. So just just, just try to just move through it. I know it can be frustrating with temperance, but try to move through this energy. And this is what awaits you. This is what awaits you. Yeah? And that's really, really positive, isn't it? Okay? So I, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll tag on your July love reading if you haven't at the end of this video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next week for your back. No, what is it? Additional love reading. Okay, Libra, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.